Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Trials and Tribulations everybody, this time with 100% less Phoenix Wright because we're playing as Mia Fey. And we're <laughs> listening to this Melissa. <laughs> Melissa Foster's Home Melissa. for Imaginary Friends. Oh, Foster. That's also something we should watch. Anyway. Oh, uh, that show's very hit or miss, but... That's right. a great show. All right, so I'm not sure if this is still, like, the same testimony, if this is a different we'll just, one. We'll just keep or... skipping. All right, so he stabbed her in the back, quickly, quickly picked her picked in the arms. Up. Oh, yeah, okay, same up, one. Same. He carried over to the car. Killer broke into, into the, the trunk, trunk of the stolen car and hid the body in there. Wouldn't he have had the keys? No, because he stole it. And hot wired but it. but if you stole if you steal a car you need something for the car to go you can hotwire it how do you hotwire something I don't know how but you can what, what's you, the process of it again I don't know but basically I, all my hot wiring knowledge comes from GTA okay. where they just are like, Ch -ch -ch, and um Vivo and stitch where stitch hot wires the various vehicles. oh I forgot about that where basically you can break into like the, where the cables and like electrical cables of the car are, and then you can like kind of mess around with things. I feel like that wouldn't be quick though if you were gonna like hijack a car. Like let's say you're at a- okay, this is the other thing. This is a car- is this like a car that like, let's say a random couple or random family is driving into yeah. the mountains? Yeah. Okay, it's not like a dealership. I was imagining like him I'll strolling up to a dealership a <laughs> trying to hotwire the car while like other customers are there. No, okay, that would make more sense. Yeah, he's But stolen. how would you- how would you steal the car, get everyone out of it, hotwire it while they're there? Haven't you ever seen GTA? Okay, but that's just like you throw them out of the car and they're like, <laughs> run off. And then, like, he I mean, he's in a prison uniform and he has a scarred face and he's big and he eats his iron ball. Like, <laughs> he's, he's intimidating. I guess they could run. Maybe they just have a coward personality. I don't know. Anyways, let's press that. So, what did the man do then? Well, naturally, he got in the car and was about to flee. That's. That's when I came to my senses. I said to myself, you have to call the police! And so that's when you called the police? After the whole event happened. I mean, that would be a freaky event to witness. Sure. But also, she's probably lying. You're sure that's what you saw? You, you, you're sure that you saw all of that with your own eyes? Yes, I'm 100% certain. Alright, so that's the only new because statement. It just need, well, it's probably that one that we're pressing. <laughs> probably. Killer broke into the trunk of the stolen car. Um, is it possible to break into a trunk without having okay. the keys? We have the crime photo here. That's the car. And you can see there's scratch marks on the trunk. I thought that was the logo for the car. No. Scratch marks. Oh. Well, okay, so that broke in, but that's not much. I was expecting him to have to be like, <laughs> and like, punch the <laughs> trunk. <Dead> kids. <laughs> it's dented, yeah. <laughs> um, the rest of the car looks pristine, which is I'm very surprised about. He let a lot of crappy old cars pass, and he's like, ooh, brand new sports car. That's the one I'm taking. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, one last joyride, I suppose. Broke into the trunk of the car. Stolen car, Mark. Stolen car. Professor Snape Perry. <laughs> and hid the body. Oh, yeah. I wonder if we're just supposed to present the photo and have it be like, this is what's wrong with the photo. No, not that one. The, the oh. car photo. The crime photo. We gotta be careful. Okay, there's a crime photo, crime photo and, and a witness, witness photo. photo. Car and witness. Okay. Yep. Um, Man, I love this music. Man, if he'd stolen the wrong car, he couldn't have fit the body in there. <laughs> like, if you had stolen a convertible, it's like, he, he <laughs> couldn't have. Bad. He couldn't have done that in my car. No way. Yeah, your car's so small. Well, um, actually, no, he probably... I don't want to be morbid, but, I mean, I can fit my giant suitcase in there. But a suitcase, like... And there's plenty of room after that. But a suitcase isn't that big. That's like the size of a child. My suitcase a is larger. really wide child. <laughs> it's like a... Brick. Yeah. <laughs> like a big one. <laughs> um. Hit the body. Do, do, do. I don't know why. Do, do, do. Talk to Dahlia. 
Uh, see, this would be the ultimate plot twist is if this was the first one. And it's like, who's Dahlia? And then you're like, oh, and you figure out that Melissa's Dahlia. That'd be huge. What if Melissa's not Dahlia? What if Melissa is her twin cousin who has a different last name? Um, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, twin no. cousin? <laughs> Never mind. That doesn't make any sense. What if she's a twin, but she got married at 16, so she has a different name? Or 17. Or 18. I mean, it's possible. possible. <laughs> like, People really don't get married that young, though, unless you're like, I don't know. Like a really, there's, really conservative Christian. There's a lot of people I know. They haven't gotten married that young. I've met and spoken with people about friends of theirs that have gotten married young. I have a friend who's just like a year older than me that's gotten engaged. Oh, that, that's... That happens. She's like 19. Yeah, that can happen. If you've been yes. dating a while. Like a year? Oh, uh, that's kind of rushed. Yeah, that's kind of rushed. I mean, that's less rushed if you're, like, in your 20s. Sure, but... and you're like, I know what I want, but... I mean, it dep also depends on if you're doing college or not. Because, uh, obviously, you don't... Most people don't like They're having the long... Okay. Most people don't like having long engagements, and you generally want to wait till you're done with college before you get married. Generally, <gasps> teach their own. We don't uh -huh. judge. Yeah. Anyways. Um... There's the car. So, let's imagine this actually happens. Oh no, he stabbed me. <gasps> and then you- he, Blood! <laughs> blood! 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 <laughs> yep. Picks her up. I'm assuming like this, where it's like the damsel in distress. Um, picks her up. Bridal style. Otherwise, maybe hauls her over his shoulder because he's big. He's Kidnapper like, style. <laughs> Kidnapper style. <laughs> Waddles over to the car. Punches the trunk. Flies open, and he throws her in there. Then this is Tibble Spring Magic <laughs> <to> Dust! <laughs> wow. We need to stop referencing Arthur so much. No, I think we need to reference Arthur more. More? <laughs> oh gosh. Tommy and Timmy Tibble get the bronze medal, even though everyone, everyone knows they should have been disqualified. Um. I think that maybe. So she's there. Why wouldn't she- actually, no, that would have been dumb if she was like, I'm gonna save her, and then, like, runs up the cliff. That would be uh, Um, I I'm sorry, does she have the claw clamber boots from Banjo-Tooie? Is she Link from Breath of the Wild? How do you run do up a cliff? Well, it, it, I don't know, maybe it's, like, a little incline. Like a hill. Uh-huh. I think it could um, be- no. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Okay, fine. Um, I don't- I don't know. Oh, you don't? I don't think so. Well, okay, the, the scarf fell off. I can't off. believe Miss Frizzle died. What? <laughs> Valerie. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about her name was Valerie. Um, Maybe the camera? Maybe it's like, why didn't you take a picture of that? She was out of film. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she took why 800 you, photos Why didn't you wild. erase one of your precious wildflower photos? No way! Instagram it. deserves to know about all of Every those photos. Every 800? Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, I think it's just the picture of her in the car. And then they're gonna be like, there's something wrong with it. I think that... No. I was wrong for once. This evidence establishes- For once? <laughs> I'm sorry. You've been off base kind of a <laughs> kind lot. Kind of a lot. I'm saying wrong with- Establish trying to do an evidence jam. <laughs> I did an evidence. <laughs> an evidence jam? Like a poetry jam. <laughs> and then the evidence was presented. It was terrible. Which is why I can't rhyme. And they're like, penalty meter! <laughs> the light goes down. Wow. This evidence establishes that the defendant is lying, right? Don't ask me to confirm your facts. Actually, should I keep that? Yeah, I like the Schwarzenegger voice. Sorry, this is my first time handling a case, but you've already presented things. Well, let's make it a memorable occasion with a penalty. <laughs> first penalty. And here I thought he would go easy on me because I'm new. Nope. Psych. Ah, <laughs> uh, it could be the... I mean, <laughs> you have a one in seven chance at this point. I do. Probably one in six, assuming it's not the attorney's badge. Yeah. <laughs> And that it's not a profile. Maybe it's... Oh, yeah, that's true. Maybe it's because if he dropped... If the scarf was dropped, he would leave evidence. So why didn't he pick up the scarf and then put it in the car oh, with her? Could that's be a good point. That. Oh, I mean... This evidence... 
then yeah. So now I've got a one in like five chance. Congratulations, you can do basic at that. I can, I have a 20% chance. Yes. Okay. Yes, you know how to spell. Yes, you really, really do. Yes, you really know how to spell. <laughs> oh, it's probably not the note. It's probably not the camera. So it's either the other picture, the other other picture, or the autopsy. Yes, those are your five options. <laughs> no, I, that's what I'm saying. It's probably not the note, and it's probably not the camera. So it's probably one of those three. Um, So it could be the map, it could be the autopsy, or it could be the witness's photo. I don't think it's the witness's photo. Let's just go with the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. It's the right. It's the right. Well, Mrs. Foster, it looks like you've done it this time. Done what? Made a crucial mistake. A crucial mistake? Like what, Miss Fay? The killer broke into the trunk of the stolen car and hid the body in there. You're saying you saw that, right? With your very own eyes? Oh yeah, there was a cliff in the way. I'm an idiot, that's right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and? <laughs> it's simple, Miss Foster. Take a look at the diagram. The place you claim to have taken the photo from that day is here. Do you see what I mean? Even if you tried to see the car... This outcropping, yeah, outcropping of the rock is directly in the way. Huh? <gasps> That's right, Miss Foster. From where you were standing, you could not have possibly seen the killer's car. No! I admit that the diagram shows a large outcropping of rock. However, it isn't so tall that it would stop her from seeing the car. She's like four feet. That's right! It's not high at all. I was able to see his car just fine! Flip. I'm so sorry, but that just doesn't wash. I believe it was the witness who presented this as evidence to the court, yes. This is the location that the photo was taken from. Your own photo tells us the story! You can clearly see the left side of the bridge. But the outcropping that is being referred to is really more like a cliff. Ah! Uh. Your view should have been completely cut off by this cliff. But still you claim to have been able to see the killer's car! No! Ooh, she getting angry now. Uh, order! Order in the court! What is the meaning of all this ballyhoo? <laughs> Your Honor... Don't jump to any hasty conclusions. The fact that the escapee fled in a stolen car was reported on the news. After witnessing a murder, I'm sure you can appreciate that the witness was very upset. She must have heard about the stolen car and convinced herself that she saw it. But she was repeatedly warned before starting her testimony. She was told to testify only about what she saw with her own eyes. Hmm. Oh. Uh... Uh, I just realized it was the other person. Uh, Mr. Judge? W what is it? I think... I think I must have remembered things wrong. Hey, wait a minute! You can't just say that! Miss Faye, no one on the face of the planet is perfect. Except me. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, yes, indeed. Quite true. You know what they say. To err is human, to forgive divine. I'm inclined to give the benefit of the doubt to our witness here. Yeah, no. What? Th that's not fair! Ha! <laughs> Save the tears for later, kitten. Mr. Armando... Don't look back until the trial's over. Now's the time to go forward. But... But that wasn't fair! Okay, kitten. You need to relax. Mm -hmm. Then you need to remember... The other kitten's testimony. The killer broke into the trunk of the stolen car and hid the body in there. So tell us. Uh... How did you know that? <clears throat> how did you know that he broke into the trunk? <gasps> Until you can explain how you knew that. You're going to have a lot of very suspicious people on this side of the court. <laughs> While she hears all this, it's like... He's ah! saying that to her. Yeah. He's saying that to Melissa. Uh-huh. Well, witness. Well, I'm certain that he broke into the trunk. Because... Because there were marks left on the trunk lid. I'm certain that they were scratch marks from when he broke into it. W what? Let me see that photo. 
It's true. These certainly look like scratch marks around the keyhole. I thought it was like a logo that was of a crown. Oh, I, oh yeah, I can see how you would think That's that. That's why I was like, There's oh, also it's... the crack below it, though. Oh, yeah, now I see it. Yep. Unless it's like a really, 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 really short dude wearing a crown. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm that wonderful with this car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lifting weights <laughs> so much. He's doing like leg lifts underneath the uh, judge's bench. <laughs> that would be a good way to work out. It's obvious that this trunk has been broken apart open. Well, Miss Faye, are you satisfied? The judge is on her side. I can't make any mistakes here. What she just said, is there a contradiction in there somewhere? I'll buy it. It doesn't work. <laughs> Obviously it doesn't work. Right. <laughs> but we gotta be stupid. Something about it still doesn't feel right, but I, uh, okay. I guess I'm satisfied, sort of. I hope this has cleared up any doubts. Indeed, I believe it has. Hey, kitten, this is no time to play around. Huh? Overlooking such a huge contradiction? What am I going to do with you? Contradiction? So that wasn't my imagination after all. Very well, let's move on to the next. Hold it! Uh, just a minute. What is it now, Miss Fay? <laughs> I've got a big problem with what this witness said. I'd appreciate it if you didn't change your mind every five <laughs> seconds. Ugh, <laughs> uh, hang in there, Mia. Melissa Foster. I'm going back in time and avoiding that. <laughs> Melissa Foster. <laughs> it looks like you finally betrayed yourself. What? You said you were in a field taking photos of wildflowers, but even so, you knew about the scratches. The question is when? When did you get a chance to see those scratches? Finally. I finally got her! Ha! <laughs> I'm getting pretty tired of waiting over here. Then perhaps it would be faster if Miss Faye explained herself. Your Honor, there's only one possible explanation. The reason the witness had seen the scratches was... She happened to be passing by, she put the corpse in herself. She's the owner of the car. Well, they stole the car, and... and that would be hilarious if she owned the car, actually. She's like, she's just super ticked. <laughs> she's super ticked, followed, and then was like, Well, well, I'm waiting, I guess I'll take pictures of flowers. That would be... Or, or maybe... Oh, there's so many ideas that I could have here if she was the owner of the car. It could be that he was like, hey, can you drive me to the bridge? She's like, sure! I'm already going there! And, like, drives him and then... No, it, it was reported he stole it from a young couple. Oh, well, then it's probably not her unless she and the flowers are a couple. <laughs> she might have been dating her uh, pharmacology boy, Doug Swallow. Okay, but he wasn't with her. So probably she put the corpse in herself. That would be insane, though, because she's so tiny. She's just super buff underneath. And then it's like, <laughs> Underneath what?! <laughs> she has the bare shoulders on that dress. She's uh, wearing a sundress. Core, abs, my brother, abs. Uh, she's like a six pack. <laughs> but she's can, got no muscle strength. No, you can look at someone like me. I am technically muscular, but you wouldn't look at me and be like, what a beefcake. Like, <laughs> you wouldn't say that. But, but I'm strong. I can, like, I'm athletic, I can do stuff. Could but you, you would lift never... a police sergeant? Like a person? Um. Not I've easily. Lif I've lifted like 100 pounds easily, but it was I mean, really hard. Not easily. I think, I think Valerie is like a little taller than Maggie Bird. I think what Maggie happened. Bird. I almost feel like what happened is maybe this girl like tried to hire him and then he tried to back out of it and then like. She tried to kill him, or not kill him, K kill him, ended up killing her, and then had him put her in the trunk, and then... And then he just magically agreed to that. <laughs> well, maybe she had... Okay, okay well, let's we, rule out the yeah, dumb the one dumb first. One. She happened to be passing by, because she just happened to be passing by the area where the car was parked. <laughs> well, Mr. Edgeworth. <coughs> okay. Frankly, Your Honor, after hearing a pathetic response like that... I have to question whether or not Aww. such a pathetic lawyer should even exist. Why didn't you quote the greatest line ever? What? Edgeworth, like the frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs> like that thing. That would have been great. It wouldn't really have fit there. <laughs> he would have fit perfectly for Edgeworth. Did you hear that, Miss Faye? I believe Mr. Edgeworth just called you a, a knucklehead. <laughs> Yeesh, isn't that overdoing things a little bit? A knucklehead. 
<laughs> this is Knuckles, and we've We're reached the death, death chamber. chamber. <laughs> Once more with feeling. There's only one explanation. <laughs> I really want to see this. <laughs> because the stolen car actually belonged to her. That's why she knew about the scratches. Well, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, come on! It's the same dialogue! It's that would boring. be so boring. Well, she put the, cor the corpse in. There's only one way that the, the witness had a chance to see those scratches. Yes, what was it? Naturally, when she opened the trunk and stuffed the corpse in herself. The person who really hid the body in the trunk of that car was... Melissa Foster! It was you that did it, wasn't it? That's ridiculous! I, I could never... It was the man in the prison garb! He he's the one that... I don't think so, Miss Foster. If Mr. Falls had been the one that who, who put the corpse in the trunk, he would have simply used the car key. There was no need to break it open. That's what I was like! Why would he break it open? There's a car key. Oh yeah, he stole it while it was running. I Whoops. just stole it! I was like, <laughs> I forgot Marty! <laughs> My gosh! Because he literally... Hi this is what I was saying. I don't remember him breaking the... Like, he would run up, throw the person out of the car, and be like, Woohoo! Uh, I, I was just testing you to see if you would notice. Wow. Like Phoenix sweating. <laughs> With the sheep yeah, going. that's what I was about to, I was like, this would- I totally forgot that he stole from the people while it was running. Why would- how would they otherwise? Oh, let's go to this rest stop. And then they don't have the keys. And then- No, they took like, the keys with them and then he broke into Sure, it. and then like, while you can see their car from the parking lot, there's this guy like- <laughs> he's to break open the door too. Okay, Grimsley, you were right. <laughs> It'd be like that the, the Mr. Incredible scene where he's like, <laughs> and then this, the glass breaks. Yep. And then he lifts the car over his head. But but he, he stole the car. He stole it from a young couple that had been waiting at a red light. Also, why didn't anybody else notice that? <laughs> Maybe it was one of those dumb, like, there's nobody at the intersection, but it's red, so we have to stop. Yeah, it could be. Which means the key would have still been in the ignition. Oh, I... I see. Thank you for telling us about the scratches, Miss Foster. Without that, we never would have uncovered the truth. It couldn't have been Mr. Falls that put the body in the trunk! No! P preposterous to even suggest that the witness put the body in there. If that were true, then how do you explain the photo that she took? The corpse could only have been put in the trunk when the incident occurred. And we already know that at the time she was taking photographs. It's simple. It's on a timer. I mean, granted, usually timed photos are like 10 seconds where it's like, okay, you have 10 seconds, and then you run in front, but... All we she need... really sprinted. But here's what you do. You you take your 800 photos of flowers. Woo! Flowers! Oh! Then you set up the camera to take it at the not precise moment, hence why that <laughs> happened. And then she runs back, comes forward, and then sees them on the bridge, and something happens and she puts the body in the trunk. <laughs> and where was our defendant at that time? Maybe, maybe he'd already left. Maybe they just had their chat, and then the struggle took place entirely after. If afterwards. he left, he would have taken the car with him, so she couldn't put it in the Maybe trunk. he was... He's like, oh, monks. I like monks. Maybe <laughs> maybe he got knocked out already by the sergeant, and she shoved him off the bridge, and then, ah, oh, look who's here. He would have told us about it! He drove away in the car and got pulled over by the police. <laughs> maybe, um... There was, a, the three of them were, like, having, like, a western showdown with, like, the guns, <laughs> and then... <laughs> oh, this is becoming really convoluted now. <laughs> it, this whole case is convoluted! Somehow, he drove away in the car with the body in the trunk, and he didn't put the body in the trunk, but he still got pulled over and arrested. So maybe he... Okay, this would be mm. the most ridiculous thing. Maybe he <laughs> left because he forgot something. Maybe they were meeting and he forgot something. And maybe, I don't know, he left and then the girl put the body in the trunk and he's like, no, she's gone. So then he gets in the car and drives off not even knowing there's a body in the trunk. Where I don't... would he have dropped it? Like at the monk's place? <laughs> 
no. <laughs> oh, this there's isn't what's, making sense. There's, well, but this whole thing doesn't make sense. Well, then let's just carry on Fine. and win it. That's what the game's all about. This is your about. chance, Mia, from this thi finish this thing. On the contrary, I'm not so certain about that anymore, Mr. Edgeworth. You were thinking about this an awful long time, Miss Faye. <laughs> There's no need to think too deeply about it, unlike when I did. Um, what I'm saying is the shutter for this may not have been pushed by... M yeah, this is easy. Just pushed by my attorneys! Oh, wait, no. It, it pushed it by pushed gumshoe. By Godot. <laughs> well, Your Honor? To be quite honest, Miss Faye, I wish you would have thought a little more deeply on this matter. I already thought about it, huh? Hey, kitten. Don't start getting all sloppy on me now. The fact is, she wasn't there, but the photo got taken. So how did it happen? I... This is a fastball right over the home plate. That's what I thought, but... Miss Faye, take a moment and think it over again. There's no need to think too deeply about it. Obviously, it's a camera. I don't think you can make a mistake about this. Take a look at her camera. It has a timer built into it, even a mini tripod. Oh, timer, so you could be like, take a photo at 1001. I, guess. Well, I didn't know there was a timer. I just thought it was like the 10 seconds, Mr. Smiley, and then it like takes the picture and she runs off. At <laughs> two frames a second. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Almost as if the camera was brought just to take this picture. What are you trying to say then, Miss Faye? That when the crime occurred, Miss Foster wasn't in the field as she claimed? Well, if she really did use the camera's auto timer, then the answer is yes, she was somewhere else. Exactly. She was not in the field. Hmm. Would the defense please explain further? Listen, this is a crucial point. Where was Miss Foster when the incident occurred? In answering that question, we'll also make clear Miss Foster's true identity. Well then, please answer the question. Here's another idea that we could have. Sorry, I spit there a little. Please <laughs> answer the <laughs> Here's another idea that could have occurred. She comes to meet this person. She also was coming to meet Dahlia. So maybe... Oh, Valerie. Happened... <laughs> Valerie. So maybe what happened was she, she was going to meet him, and Dahlia got there first. And they met, and... When you say they, do you mean Valerie and Dahlia? Or do you mean Wait, no. Falls and Dahlia? No, that, actually, never mind. That wouldn't work with the camera, I just realized. But since there was the two things on her list, Valerie's list, meet Falls, meet Dahlia, Dahlia already knew she was going to try and meet Valerie. So I, it's very clear that she could have met and killed her. Okay. Did... What's-his-face ever... No, Terry he did Falls. Terry Falls. Did he ever mention that he, like, left? Or is it, like... He hasn't really told us a whole lot. Yeah, because thank you for that no investigation period nonsense. Okay, where was Melissa Foster? The other idea I thought of... <laughs> She's taking a dip. This was, this was the idea that I had also thought of. She shows up early and kills her early. Mm. Stores her where the camera is out of sight, takes and she dresses up in the outfit. Oh, takes interesting. Takes the picture. The whole incident occurs, and then she's able to put the body in the trunk. That was kind of an idea I'd sort okay, of thought of. Okay, okay. I, I want to say, Jesse, she was just taking a dip. <laughs> Naturally, the witness was standing right here. Hmm. Well, what do you think, Mr. Edgeworth? <sighs> Before pointing out where the witness was standing, Miss Faye should do something herself. She should figure out where she stands, if you catch my drift. Oh, don't worry, the drift was certainly caught. Yes, failure is an excellent opportunity for growth. Wow. Please try better ne next time. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. Alright, so you I think, think she dressed up. That's an idea I thought of. <laughs> she was in the car. <laughs> Could be. She was hiding in a trunk. And then swapped places. That would be hilarious if it's like, I knew the old couple. <laughs> I cleaned Naturally, your father's wounds. Naturally, the witness was right here, I think. Hmm. In the spot where the defendant's car was? Yes, she had to put the body in the trunk before the defendant returned. 
You don't mind if I ask one teeny weeny question, do you, Miss Faye? Uh-oh. He's got that condescending tone in his voice. If she put the body in the trunk at the time, as you suggest, that must mean that Valerie Hawthorne was already dead at that point, correct? Hmm. Indeed. Please take a look at the top of Dusky Bridge. <sighs> it certainly looks to me like the victim is still alive. Am I mistaken? Uh... If Valerie Hawthorne was already dead then, who is this? Am I right? <laughs> Am I right for the once? The mountain is famous for spirits, so maybe you think it was the ghost of the victim? Well, it could have been a spirit. Right? No! Miss Faye, don't waste the court's time That's with this kind of That's not what I wanted her to say. I mean, to be fair, Mia is a spirit medium. Yeah, but nobody else knows that. Except no, but me. that would explain why she's like, well, it could be. Yeah. Anyway, I still maintain that the witness was in a different place at that okay, time. Okay, I did not expect that to get alternate dialogue, actually. Because that's not correct. That was just a waste. That was just a penalty. Oh. But special dialogue for that. Sure, uh, that's cool. Thing. Yes, I'm certain. More or less. Oh, come now, Miss Faye. <laughs> this is... The Arnold voice is slipping. Yeah. <laughs> I can't... Uh, put, put her in the victim spot. I really want to see if that makes sense. Naturally, the victim... The, the victim... <laughs> the victim slash witness was right here! But, but that's... <laughs> that's what the victim, Miss Hawthorne, was standing. The terrible man. <laughs> oh, oh, God! God. <laughs> I'd like to put some chains on you. <laughs> How touchy. Order, <laughs> order, order. Miss Faye, what on earth? Your Honor, if I may. After parting with the victim on the bridge, the defendant fled by the car. By car. Oh, by car, not by the car. But this would mean that there, were n there was no time to put the victim in the trunk. In other words, if someone put the body in the trunk, it could only have been before the defendant met the victim. I think I'm exactly right for one. How asinine! Of course Mr. Falls met with the victim. The only person with the opportunity to have put the victim in the trunk is the same man that killed her, Terry Falls. No. You still don't understand, do you, Mr. Edgeworth? By the time the witness's photo was taken, the victim was already dead. The person in the photo was not Valerie Hawthorne! What? I've never heard anything more ridiculous in my entire life. Well, you better. Wow. You better Appar get ready. Apparently, he's never been to high school. <laughs> he probably dropped out and just trained. Let's be fair. Maybe that's why. Edgeworth, you are not going to high school. You're going to learn prosecuting for me. It's like, but I wanted to go to prom. No. <laughs> this will be your prom. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go on a spa day together. <laughs> then, who exactly is the victim in this photo? It's obvious, isn't it? It's your own witness. What? Wh what? It's the only possible explanation. The woman th that Mr. Falls met on the bridge that day was not Valerie Hawthorne. It was you, Melissa Foster. M me, me. Let's remember that it was raining and foggy on the mountain that day. Mr. Falls himself believed that the woman in front of him was Valerie Hawthorne. But the defendant knew Valerie Hawthorne very well. After all, she was the woman whose testimony helped get him convicted. But since then, my client has spent five hard years in federal penitentiary. Penitentiary. Penitentiary, don't you know? He couldn't remember exactly what she looked like anymore. You are just making this up as you go along. Where's your proof? I've got this all right here. This type of evidence will blow this case wide open. At the time of the incident, Mr. Falls had forgotten what Valerie Hawthorne looked like. Um, what? That's not the statement I thought we would be using. Uh, is it just the photo? And it's all foggy and rainy and gross? Which one? Or is it... Or is it a profile? I mean... He looks in pretty bad shape. Valerie Hawthorne... Okay. Five years before 23. Whoa, she was 18? <laughs> she would look very different. That's true. That She would look very different after that. Well, like, not everybody. I, I haven't aged a day since 16, honestly. But you were also the one who, like, suddenly you turn 16, you're like, well, I aged. Like, that, yeah, that's, that's true. kind of how you worked versus 
if it was a girl, that's like basically high school, or not high school, college. You basically went through college and then had two years after that. Yeah, a lot You will look a lot different after that, usually. Like, when you see pictures of, like, we, we'd seen pictures of um, our, our sister-in-law before college, oh, yeah. and then right when she graduated, and she looked totally different. I mean, she's, she's a little pretty similar. She looks, like, you know it's the same person, but she just looked different. Yeah, And oh, yeah. if you were so you want five So you want to try just her sure. profile? Wait a minute, kitten. Mr. Armando. First of all, relax. Second of all, think the whole thing over again. He's right, Mia. You need to calm down and think this over. She gave herself a penalty. <laughs> That's when you have low self-esteem. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> this, this, <laughs> he looks like Zuko without the scar. Yeah, he does. Which is terrible. I must capture the Avatar. Oh wait, that's that's fake Zuko. I must capture the Avatar. It's not on okay. the road side of the face. How could you say that? <laughs> um, maybe it's the witness's photo then. What would that do? Well, but if you look at the photo, you'd be like, you can't even see her face. Just That's like... just because it's foggy and it's a photo. He was standing right in front of her. He could see her face easily. Maybe it's like Carmen Sandiego where she keeps the hat tipped down. And it's like, <laughs> she's got the red lipstick. No, and that's not. <laughs> Edge Ruffin Pig, that is ridiculous. Yeah, that's true. Who the bleep is Carmen maybe, Sandiego? Maybe you show the profile of uh, Dolly, I mean, uh, Melissa. <laughs> my Dolly, my sweet, sweet Dolly. No? Nope. Maybe it's of the, uh, defendant. When you show him, uh, show That Edward, doesn't make any sense at all. But you show Edward how all. beaten down he is. That doesn't have anything to do with her. But I don't know what would prove that somebody for- Oh, maybe it's the note. Meat falls that bridge. Oh yeah, wear a white scarf for identification. Yeah, okay, okay. Mr. Falls had forgotten the victim's face. That's why he needed some piece of identification. Namely, this muddy scarf. <sighs> it was Mr. Falls who requested that she wear this scarf to identify herself. That's already been proven by the note the victim left. In other words, as long as you were wearing a scarf like he asked, anyone could have pretended to be Valerie Hawthorne. Even a dude. <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe she turned trans. <laughs> turned trans? I don't think... I, I feel like that would be offensive to that community Maybe. somehow. I apologize. We don't mean to make fun well, of people Well, like what do you have to say to that, Melissa Foster? <laughs> no! No! Did she just pass out? Yup. Well, so much for that. Uh... uh... Where is Miss Foster? I'm getting sick of the Arnold voice. Yeah. <laughs> She's collecting herself in the lobby. Well, it's kind of funny that like mm. he only had the Schwarzenegger voice when she popped out. It's <laughs> like, where'd she go? Where'd she come from, Cotton Eye Joe? It's obvious that Melissa Foster did it. She hid the body in the trunk and disguised herself as the victim. She set up the camera to snap a fat a, a, a fat a fat photo. <laughs> A fat photo <laughs> fat of them <laughs> together! <laughs> no, a fake photo of them together. The only question is, why did she do it? Well, isn't that obvious? She's the true criminal. Ha. <laughs> well, we'll have to wait for Miss Foster to compose herself before we, we start again. We don't wait for anything. Until you then, this in. court is in recess. The defense and the prosecution are instructed to wait in the lobby. Yes, Your Honor. Understood. Very well, this court is in recess. All right, Dahlia. To be continued. But, but I want to talk to the people in the lobby. Oh, wow. Oh, this has been going for longer than I thought. Okay, well. All right, well, we'll have to do that next time. Thanks okay. for watching, everybody. Yeah. Tune in next time. We're going to probably talk to somebody in the lobby. Whether it's I hope Edgeworth. we talk to Phoenix Wright. What would he be doing here? <laughs> I he thought. Didn't met, he didn't meet Dahlia yeah, until I six know. months after this. That would be cool, though. Maybe we talk to somebody else. Maybe we'll talk to Edward. Winston Payne. Hey! I thought I've I... been in the first three cases! I, had I thought I'd come and say hi and try and make you mess up! <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous! Anyhow, have a great day and God bless.